she asked what I was waiting for. I said I was waiting for a bus. So she said, oh, do you need a ride? Now in a split second, I said, yeah. Then she said, hey, I can give you a ride home. For a split second, I said, okay. I don't mind the ride. I just, I, I kid you not, I said to myself, I hope she's not going to take this as me being interested in being in a relationship with her. But I said to myself, of course, I could use a ride. Saves me a lot of time. And this is the first time, so chances of that happening probably nil. So I said, okay. So she gave me a ride home. Okay, in the process, I guess she got my phone number. Okay. <laughs> Another time, <laughs> she sees me in church and she's like, hey, you need a ride. And I said to myself, huh, two times I think is okay. I don't think anything is going to happen from this. She gave me a ride. I was fine. She asked me again, she sees me in church, you need a ride? I said, no, I'm good, thank you. But it was too late because she has been calling me on the phone, okay? And calling me and having conversations. Well, let's just say she's doing the talking for like 40 minutes on the phone. And I'm, be I'm beginning to get frustrated when she calls. I'm like, okay, okay. I said, okay, I think I need to do something. Sometimes she sees me in church and she says, oh, you taught at this class. I said, yeah, why didn't you tell me? I'm like, oh, man. Every time, why didn't you tell me you taught at this class? She calls me all the time. I'm like, oh, no. So one time she called me. I gave her 40 minutes. <laughs> and eventually I had to say, hey, you know, um, Please don't call me anymore. I think you're seeing more to this than it really is. So please, you know, don't call me anymore. And she didn't. She stopped. Everything was cool for a, for a while. Then one day, she happened to come to a class that I was teaching. After the class, she said, hey, that was good. I said, thank you, thank you. Then she said, you offended me. I knew exactly what she was talking about. And I said, how did I offend you? She said, you thought you were all that. <laughs> That's exactly how she said it too. <laughs> you thought you were all that. <laughs> and I said, I am sorry. I apologize. Please forgive me. And she was cool. I just left it at that. I often like to say this. I know we have all these things in our society that we look at to suggest whether or not somebody wants to be in relationship with you or not. But I often like to present this scripture as a basis to determine whether or not, okay, this is going anywhere. And I like to offer Amos chapter 3, verse 3. How can two people walk together unless they are in agreement? Matthew 18, 19 says, If any two people on earth agree on anything, which must include marriage, it shall be done in heaven. So agreement, just because someone gives you their number, does not mean they are agreeing to be in relationship with you. So until you and the other person are in agreement that yes, I want to be in a relationship, it doesn't mean that you both are supposed to be in a relationship. Every other thing that happens, I dreamt about the person, the person dreamt about me, somebody told me, my friends told me that, you know, I think you and so-and-so will look good together. And even though you're thinking about the person you're talking about, it does not mean that that's the way it's supposed to be.